I like to explain one of the EMC immunity test, which is the EFT, okay, which is also known as the BUS. Okay, so this EFT actually stands for electrical fast transient. Okay, so basically the test is according to IEC EN 61000-4-4. Okay, so firstly, let me explain okay, why we need to do this test, why we have this test. Okay, so imagine this, when the switch is initially closed. Okay, so when the switch is closed, okay, quite a fair bit of substantial current actually flow through this inductive path. And now imagine you actually interrupt the switch by opening it. Okay, so when you actually open the switch, you can imagine that a large voltage actually developed across this switch contact. Okay, the magnitude of this voltage is in fact proportional to the path total inductance and also the rate of the change of the current. So let's say, okay, so if this voltage, if they become high enough, okay, so they become large enough, okay, so air breakdown may occur. So what does this air breakdown means? Which means that arcing may actually occur. So once you actually has this arcing effect, it actually create a low impedance. Okay, because in order to have arcing, you need to have low impedance, then you can actually have this arcing effect. And hence, because of this, again, you can imagine that the voltage drop become almost close to zero again. And hence, it almost like a so-called closed circuit again. Okay, so keep this in mind. Like I mentioned earlier on, we actually interrupt the switch by opening it. But at the split second, it actually act like a so-called closed circuit. Let's take a look on this diagram in order to understand better. Okay, so earlier on, I did mention that they actually have some arcing effect. So now, okay, so basically, you imagine that the arcing effect actually extinguished. Okay, so again, they actually break the current path again. So another high voltage is again generated okay, due to the inductive circuit. Okay, by this time, okay, the switch okay, probably have moved further away. Okay, which means that a higher voltage is now in now need to be required okay, to break down this air gap. Hence, they actually delay this arc reformatting. Okay, so this process continue, continue okay, until the switch is further away and hence there is not enough voltage big enough to create this arcing. Okay, so basically this is why we need to do this test. Okay, so most of the time when we actually has any electronics product that we actually make, okay, we probably have a switch. Okay, so even if there is no switch, the power will be on and off. Okay, and then because of this, okay, you actually call, so called has some form of arcing effect and this can be destructive to your electronics device. Hence, okay, we actually have this five level of testing. Okay, so you can see that, okay, one, two, three, four, and then this is under the special case. You can see that they actually has various peak voltage from 0 0.5 all the way to four. The frequency to test is mainly either five kilohertz or 100 kilohertz. Five kilohertz is mainly more tradition, okay, while most of the real-time application now actually happen at 100 kilohertz.